Hello campers, Dr. Dickey here. I am wiring up the ABB trip breaker and I decided just to use half the battery pack for 24 volts for my 48. So I've got a red wire wired up here to pack seven hot and of course to number one negative and that comes up and there's two leads that go in I don't know if you can see that or not but that uh, shows what they are the top one is a negative and I'm just going to put a connector on there so I can connect one to the other and then the positive one has to go into the BMS and it goes into the BMS on these two pins these bottom two pins so I have to open them up and there's a small pin that fits in there and so that's what I need to do is unscrew those I've got to figure out what size pin because I want to put the biggest pin I can but they take very very small pins so let me figure that out and I'll show you when I get it set up all right let me show you exactly what the Batrium system uses so to go into those pins they use these very tiny end pieces that you crimp onto the wire and then you put that into the into the area there and crimp it down. So let me show you. Let's see if I can show you this. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to do this. Uh, let's see. So take the wire and slide it into there. It goes all the way up into the pin area on that and then there's a special tool that you put on there and it crimps it from all around it does a great job it puts that crimped on there really nicely and then I can take this I can run it up and I'll clean up these runs later because I gotta re-put re these pieces down slide it in slide it into the hole and then just Tighten that up. Sorry, I'm trying to do this with my two hands. So there, now the red 24 volts is switched by this relay on the BMS, which I have set to a critical fault, which means that when there's a critical fault, which basically means the battery voltage goes too high or too low that's going to switch that relay on and that's going to put 24 volts to the ABB circuit breaker and switch it off so that if there's a critical fault the battery gets charged too high or too low the BMS will put a critical fault out critical fault will put that relay switch the relay to closed that's going to complete the circuit 24 volts cause the circuit breaker to trip and it's going to shut everything down. That's what I'm going to test in just a minute. So for the negative side, all I'm going to do is I just ran this negative wire up here. I'm going to put a connectors on it and that's going to be connected directly into the system. And then we'll try it in just a second. All right, I have it wired up. I have it connected. There's the connector for the negative. I've got to clean all the wiring up afterwards. The positive is switched through relay one. You switch through relay one here and if I go to a critical fault that should shut this off so let's see I don't know if you can see this or not so I'm in the Batrium software and what I'm going to do is I'm going to set I checked it on the high shunt voltage and it gave me a critical fault and I heard the relay click so now if I can get this to work I'm going to edit this and I'm going to go to low shunt voltage and I'm going to set the low shunt voltage Let me see what I have to. I have to set the low shunt voltage higher than my actual. And my actual right now is 54.34. So I'm going to set this to 55. Enter it and save. And so that gives me a fault. You can see that that went yellow. Give me just a second, and there, there it goes. It just shut off. And the trip just went, but I don't see anything shutting down. So, 
That's strange. Because I heard it pop. But that does not seem to have stopped anything. That's not good. That means that it's not working. Hmm. All right. Let me... Ch oh, well, that went back to non-shunt conditions. Battery stayed okay. Why did it do that? What? It did not trip. Why did it not trip? I heard it trip, but it didn't trip. So let's try this again. Edit. High shunt. Well, we'll do low shunt. Low shunt voltage is set at... What? Low shunt voltage is 55. That can't be correct. Low shunt voltage. Is that what I said? Yeah, that's what I said it to. Okay. So let me go to default. Ah, oh, gosh. This software is a little wonky, but it's pretty good. Okay, 46.5. Let's go to high shunt voltage at 55 now. Enter it. And see, that should go into fault because it's actually above that. So if I go to save, that goes into a fault. That should cause the relay to trip. And that should make that pop, but it does not. Hmm. All right, let me check something out here. All right, so what's the problem? The problem is everything's working. What the heck? Why did that trip? Did it trip? Sound like a trip. The problem is everything's working perfectly. That's the problem. So what does that mean? The relay is working fine. It's shutting off the battery. The problem is there's enough solar energy coming in from the solar system to keep the batrium powered and to keep the inverter powered so that it doesn't seem to shut down, although it is isolating the battery from the system. But that's not so good because I don't want the solar charge controller to be able to power the system because then the inverter may have problems with it with the voltage going up and down and up and down and up and down. So what am I going to have to do? I'm going to have to, uh, this was covered by Lithium Solar. You can see his uh, YouTube channel. He covered this. He had the exact same problem. He had the fact that uh, the solar charge controller would drive the inverter and the BMS. Driving the BMS is not so bad, but um, driving the inverter is kind of bad. So what do I have to do? I'm going to have to run the negative leg for the um, for the solar charge controller. I'm going to have to run that through the center post on the ABB trip. That way, when it trips, it will shut off the input to the solar charge controller, which will shut down the entire system. So I'm going to have to do that in another video. And like I said, I got the big dig coming up. Uh, today is Wednesday. It's going to start Friday at the latest. So I'm going to have to do that after the big dig. But it's wired up and it's working correctly. It's just not doing what I want it to do, if that makes any sense. So I'll get that video out in, like I said, take a couple weeks because I'm going to have to uh, do the big dig, and then we'll uh, then we'll get it working. So we learned something again, giving you the benefit of my ignorance, and that's what I'm here to do. All right, y'all have a good one, and I'll see you next video.